learned, our community learned that the Pope was coming, and all sorts of wheels started turning for lots of people. Um, In so, including Bill Byrick. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> Bill and uh, me. Um, so I had made a proposal for a papal a coin that I pictured carving in three or four times size mm -hmm. and then it being reduced and minted, um, which I presented to the Jesuits at some time early on. I didn't hear anything. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, months later, I got a call, can you come and see us? And they didn't mention the papal coin. They said, we'd like you to create the official gift for the Pope. Ooh, that, that made me sit back in my chair, uh, but I was flattered and now, thrilled. Did you, did you design the papal coin? No, it didn't happen. Okay, oh, so oh, there may be one. Well, but there it was wasn't, a papal coin. Yeah, it wasn't me. But it, no. you were not the designer. No, no. Okay. But I did do the papal You got, you got papal a better gift. coin. Yeah, I think so. Coin. I think so. Yeah. And probably one that I was better able to handle. Although, again, going back to those years as a kid doing things, very often, particularly in mechanical design, you don't know where the answer is going to be, but you got to get in there and get started and move towards it. And uh, that was the same with either of those projects. I, I hadn't carved a Brebeuf or Chiwa Tenwa before, but oh, I, I, I was I, impressed that you knew who the two were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, credit to to the uh, Jesuits, and uh, I happily accepted the commission. Scared as hell because mm -hmm. I didn't. I really. How am I going to do this? And deadlines fairly tight, and a lot of eyes are watching, and there's no room for mistakes <laughs> and all of this. But no pressure uh, there. No, and I didn't even have a. I didn't even have a design. Um, they, all they told me was uh, it needs to have Brebeuf in it, Chiwa Tenwa, working as equals, right. not one underneath uh, the that's other. Right. Or, yeah. And it uh, was a joint commission between um, Martyr Shrine and the Ontario, uh, Martyr Shrine and the um, Archdiocese of Toronto. Oh, Toronto. And St. Marie Among the Hurons, and uh, provincial parks, parks and culture, culture and recreation, okay. whichever ministry that was at the time. Uh, so there were a lot of... A lot, a lot of, of players. A lot of players. Um, and uh, so Bill Byrick soon became my best ally. And mentor? Yeah, well... Stick handling through that's that? That's right, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, between us, uh, we came up I, I sketched out a number of ideas, and the one that you see in the carving today is the route we followed. Uh, well, it, at it, one point, it's, it's also on the ADM elevator. That's right. That design and that mural yeah. was of your design. That's right. And I know because uh, I had to sell all the little prints that we made from that design during the the when the Pope was here. In oh, the, yes. Oh, did you? Yes. Well, so you know was, that. It was all sorts of uh, yeah. fascinating all sorts of intrigues. opportunities for me. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Bill and I, once the, the concept was um, approved, right. uh, Bill and I dressed up in costume. I was Bray Buff, I think, and he might have played Chiwa Tenma, and we had a photographer shooting us. So we could get an idea of St. Marie in the background. The size and the... Yeah, the scale, the, the perspective. Yeah, okay. um, and the main uh, focus uh, images, uh, the players, the key players in the foreground. So um, uh, then um, I formalized that with Ivan Kosis. Mm -hmm. He was one of the great graphic artists around there at the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Um, so I offered to the Jesuits, can I brief you on how I'm doing and just to get your direction, I want to be sure I'm doing the right thing. 
no, my son, uh, we trust that you'll do the right thing. And that was all they said to me. Well, that would and, be Jim Farrell who probably said Yeah, Father Farrell was there. That's right. It may have been his words. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. And uh, that, I think I went in thinking, well, they're just going to help me. This will buoy me up and give me the confidence to continue um, or d redirect me. Well, they... They motivated me, but in a totally opposite way. I, I, I could see, well, I'm not going to get anything out of them. I've, I've got to do this. This has got to be right, but it's got to be me. And so into it I went, and it came out, it came out okay. Really well. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so great life lesson, and I learned a lot from the folks we meet along the way mm -hmm. uh, at any stage. I learned a lot from the Jesuits from that one lesson, and I hope I pass it on to people that are close to me that I just trust you to do the right thing.